Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is ensemble learning and what are the different ensemble learning techniques available in machine learning. Ensemble learning is a supervised machine learning technique to improve the overall performance by combining the predictions from multiple models. So in traditional machine learning, we will consider a single model to solve a given problem definition. It may happen that a given model may perform better or may not perform better on the given problem definition. So what we do in uh, ensemble le learning technique is we will consider multiple number of models and then we will get the predictions out of all those particular multiple models and all those particular predictions are combined so that we will get the improved overall performance in this case. Now we will see what are the different ensemble methods available in machine learning. First one is uh, voting or averaging. Second one is bootstrap aggregation or bagging. Third one is random forest. Fourth one is boosting and fifth one is stacked generalization or blending. Now I will discuss each of these particular methods one by one. First one is voting or averaging. In voting or averaging, first we will consider multiple number of models and each of those particular models will be trained on a given data set. Once you train that particular models on a given data set, whenever we will get a new example, that new example will be given as an input to those particular models. Each of those particular model will predict the output and later we will consider those particular predictions to come up with the final prediction over here. Now the question comes in front of us is how to combine these particular predictions. So if it is a classification kind of problem, we will take the majority voting here. In this particular case, the first model has predicted it as 1, second one has predicted it as 0, third one has predicted it as uh, 1 here. Now what we do is in this case uh, 1 is the majority so the final prediction will be 1 over here. If it is a regression kind of problem then we will take the average of all the probabilities and that will be the final result over here. Because uh, in regression uh, problems we will get the probability rather than the class uh, value over there. So we will take the average of those things we will get the final probability in that case. Coming back to the second one that is uh, bootstrapping or the bagging. In this case what we do is rather than considering the multiple number of models, the input data will be divided into multiple number of groups over here. So in this case you can say that there were n number of uh, data points are there. All those particular data points will be divided into n groups over here. Now each of these particular n groups will be given as an input to the same model. You can consider it as a KN model, decision tree or support vector machine or any other model. All these particular input sets will be given as an input to the same model over here. We will get the predictions in this particular case. Again these particular predictions will be combined in such a way that uh, uh, either we use uh, voting uh, when it comes to classification or we will use averaging uh, when it comes to regression kind of problems over here. Coming back to the third ensemble approach that is called as a random forest. This is an extension of a decision tree learning algorithm. In decision tree learning algorithm, uh, we draw a single tree for the given data set. Based on that particular tree, we will make the uh, classification of the given uh, data set. But when it comes to random forest, we will divide that particular input data into multiple number of groups. Each uh, group will be given as an input to one uh, decision tree so that we will get multiple number of decision trees over here. Now in this case uh, we have drawn three decision trees. Now once you draw this particular decision trees, the new input will be given as an input to all three decision trees and all three will make a uh, different predictions over here or they may make a same prediction also. Based on that particular prediction, again we will get the final prediction over here. Again how to combine these particular predictions? We will use either averaging when it comes uh, the regression problem. If it is, uh, we can say that uh, the classification problem, we will take the majority voting over here. The next ensemble learning is boosting. Boosting is an ensemble technique that attempts to build a strong classifier from uh, a number of uh, weak uh, classifier over here. So the working principle of uh, boosting is something like this. Given a training data, we will consider any of the basic uh, machine learning classifier and then we will train that particular model using the training data. Once you train a machine learning model, there is a possibility that uh, some part of this particular training data will be classified correctly, some part of it will be classified incorrectly here. Now what we do here is we will consider this particular incorrectly classified data and then we will assign more weightage to it and try to correct those particular errors in the second uh, model over here. The same thing will be repeated unless and until uh, we will add sufficient number of models, that's a one possibility 
और एंटायर ट्रेनिंग डेटा इज करेक्टली क्लासीफाइड ओवर हियर इफ एवरीथिंग इज क्लासीफाइड करेक्टली वी विल स्टॉप एडिंग मॉडल्स और लेट अस अजूम दैट वी हैव अ थ्रेशोल्ड लाइक वी नीड टू एड टेन मॉडल्स ओवर हियर सो वंस यू एड ऑल दो पर्टिकुलर टेन मॉडल्स वी विल स्टॉप ओवर देयर ऑल्सो सो दीज आर द टू पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ वी कैन से दैट द टर्मिनेशन कंडीशन इन बूस्टिंग एनसेम्बल लर्निंग टेक्निक ओवर हियर दैट कैन बी शोन डायग्रामेटिकली समथिंग लाइक दिस गिवन इनपुट डेटा वी विल गिव दिस इनपुट डेटा एज अ इनपुट टू द क्लासीफायर classifier will make some uh, uh, correct predictions some incorrect predictions so this will be given as an input to the next level of classifier again here but before we give this as an input to the next level classifier we will give more weightage to this incorrect classified data and less weightage to this uh, correctly classified data again uh, the classifier will make some uh, correct classification some incorrect classification the same thing will be followed in the next level also that is we will give more weightage to the incorrectly classified data and less weightage to the correctly classified data again and again the same thing will be repeated until we will add sufficient number of models or the entire training data is correctly classified over here coming back to the last uh, ensemble learning technique that is called as stacked generalization or stacking or it's also known as blending in this particular case now what we do in uh, traditional ensemble learning is we will use multiple number of classifiers or we will divide our data into multiple number of groups and then we will train that particular uh, models now once you train those particular models or on different uh, training set we will get multiple number of outputs over here and that output will be combined with either voting that is something called as majority voting or we will assign some weight to those particular results based on those uh, weighted uh, voting we will make the we can say that uh, final prediction or else we will take the average of those particular results that is uh, when we come across the regression problem over here so this is a traditional uh, ensemble learning what we have discussed till now in stacking or blending the input data will be divided into multiple number of uh, training uh, groups in this case i have shown n number of training groups here each of these particular training group will be given as an input to different models over here like decision tree uh, lasso regression or you can say ridge regression or logistic regression or any of those particular models over here if it is a regression kind of problem if it is a classification kind of problem then it will be a decision tree classifier svm classifier and so on now each of these particular models will make some predictions over here uh, either the classes if it is a classification problem if uh, it may be a probability if it is a uh, regression problem now rather than combining these particular results using either majority voting or averaging or something like that in this stacked generalization we will consider this output as an input to the one more model over here now that uh, model is called as the second level classifier based on the output of this particular second level model we will come up with the final prediction over here now this is how uh, the stacked generalization or blending ensemble technique works over here So in this video I have discussed of what is ensemble learning what are the different uh, ensemble learning techniques are available in machine learning I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching